Hi, my name is Mara Udelman, and I'm the managing attorney of the National Health Law Program's Washington, D.C. office. I'd like to talk to you about Section 1557 of the Affordable Care Act today. Section 1557 is a really important provision that protects individuals from discrimination in healthcare programs and activities. It prevents discrimination on the basis of race, ethnicity, immigration status, language proficiency, sex, including sex stereotypes, sexual orientation and gender identity, as well as discrimination on the basis of age and disability. The National Health Law Program worked with a lot of other civil rights organizations and healthcare organizations to help craft Section 1557 with members of Congress as part of our work on the Affordable Care Act. It really is a crucial provision that for the first time specifically prohibits discrimination on the basis of sex in healthcare programs and also really recognizes that there are intersectional bases of discrimination where an individual may face discrimination based on a multitude of factors. We might have a, a woman who's a person of color. We may also have a person with disability who also is limited English proficient. An individual should have the same rights and ability to enforce these provisions regardless of the type of discrimination that they may face. It is really important that we ensure Section 1557 is strongly implemented and enforced by the federal government and that individuals have the ability to go to court if they feel that they face discrimination as well. Right now, the Biden-Harris administration is currently considering changes that would strengthen the Section 1557 protections. Within the coming weeks, we expect that there will be a new notice of proposed rulemaking, um, and we're really looking forward to our activities to analyze that proposal and to work with many of our partners in coalition to respond to the public notice and comment period. We'll be providing additional analysis and provide opportunities for individuals to get involved in the public comment period as soon as that's released. If you'd like to get information, please check out our website www.healthlaw.org. We have a lot of prior information about Section 1557, and we'll publish more information on our website and on our social media accounts as it becomes available. Thanks so much, and we look forward to working with all of you to ensure that the promises of the Affordable Care Act's non-discrimination provision are available, accessible to all, and enforced. Thanks so much.